Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. Honestly, when I walked into this, I I was more ready to talk about this than I am now. This is like take four because I'm struggling with the words, so just, I'm not going to do it again, so please, if I if I struggle through talking, just bear, bear with me, please. Anyway, let's get to the topic that you've read on the title. I'll repeat it. Pain is not my friend. And yeah, I know, I know. Whose friend is it? I, I know, not many. But, mine least of all. I go through a lot on a daily basis. A lot of worry, should I say. Everyone goes through their own trials. Mine? Well, the tribulation I go through feels like a never-ending war. In a sense. It's a mental war. It's not a physical war. A war between me and, well, my demons. Now, I'm not talking about, like, Thing or, you know, never mind. Um, this, the demons that I create intentionally for character's sake, well, I control those demons. 100%. I think. Anyway, um, pardon, that was probably really loud. I'm talking about the kind of demons that haunt you when you're having bad thoughts trying to push you to the idea that you can't do it you failed loser quitter one my demon is the worst when it comes to that I'm gonna call it a, uh, I'm gonna call it a failure demon just because honestly, for me, I claim multiple times that I only have a fear of loss, losing someone. But I think the reality for me is that I have a fear of failure. I know, it sounds pity it, it sounds petty sorry not pity it sounds petty it sounds cheap but that's like the vague version of saying it a lot of people in the world are extremely vague so probably don't pay attention to every single little thing i say on here which i'm starting to realize comes more and more by the second like i've met so many people who are stupidly vague and probably by now have clicked off the video if you're still here then you're one of probably 90% of the world that still doesn't mind listening to detail. But we'll see. Anyway. Failure, I guess, is one of the biggest things that I'm afraid of, in some aspect. In a way, this actually does connect to my fear of losing somebody. Because... The biggest failures I've ever made in my life risk me losing someone. And these failures always core off the idea of failing to help somebody. The reason these kind of failures hurt so much is more the idea that just seeing others in pain hurts me. It's a mental kind of pain. That's why I say my demons are like the worst of anybody's demons ever. Mine are by far. Y you th what? You got like a a demon that's telling you, oh, like don't. You're way too high up. You're scared of heights. Those are pretty bad, and they do mentally impact you a lot. But this, I'd rather. In a sense, I'm going to take a line from one of 
Jerry Seinfeld's stand-up comedies. At a point, Seinfeld was talking about uh, number one fears. Now, there is a little bit of a difference between what I'm going to say compared to what he said. What Jerry said was that at a funeral, you would rather be in the casket than doing the eulogy. And quite frankly, statistics have shown that actually is not inaccurate. For me, well, I'd rather be the one in the casket than the one sitting in the chair crying over the lost one. I'd rather be the lost one. That's how much of a fear I have of that kind of failure. If I fail to help somebody, let's say hypothetically someone ends up having a medical circumstance that they need dire help for and I try but I fail. The person passes away because of it. You would probably be seeing kind of a a pers- like a real life version of the song what was it called again? I believe it was Gone Away by The Offspring. For those who don't know, that song basically talks about, within the song, the singer is basically wanting to take the place of the person who passed away. Who, that, the singer, the artist felt it wasn't their time yet. They'd rather take the place. Well... Hypothetically, if I were to fail at helping someone in that manner, I, I'd be inclined to feel the same way. It's dark, I know, but that's how much the failure of helping another means to me. Let's hypothetically use um, Amber. Say she's going through some rough times, and I fail to comfort her. It would break me to see that happen. If that did, it wouldn't be the first time in my life where I, that kind of aspect has happened to me before. There are some memories on my mind from way back when I was like in high school, like, or before that, one or the other, that I still remember because I failed to you know, just simply be a good Samaritan. Certain things like this haunt me for what feels like years. And the failure, the th- a, hu- a, a normal human being would emphasize on it without realizing, towards me at least, the impact it would make because it's human it's only human to just emphasize you did not do well you hurt me more kind of thing well the only person who's never done that is someone well who raised me my mom one of the memories that I have of that kind of failure was, I I believe I was like 12 years old, I, I don't remember the details directly, but I know I was in some kind of argument with my mom, my dad was at work, I, I don't remember what the argument was about, or anything like that, in fact, I think I've talked to them about it, and they vaguely barely remember it, I'm, but, it's it feels like it was like last year or something with how much it still impacts me I was I know I was only adolescence back then so I shouldn't beat myself up for it but 
That's where the demon I'm talking about, the fail demon I'm talking about, comes into play. That thing haunts me with every fail I've ever made. If I fail to make somebody happy, if I succeed in hurting somebody when I don't mean to, that demon constantly reminds me, regardless of time. It could be, I don't know, let's pretend I'm 65 years old. It could be, like, I could be, I could be 12 when I made the mistake, and it'll still be haunting me saying, you made that mistake. Even though it was, at that point, it would have been, like, 53 years prior, it, it would still hurt. In fact, I, I don't know if you guys, you, you probably noticed, but I was very close to actually tearing up because of that, and I don't do that often. I hate the fact that I don't, but I don't. That's how much failure means to me, especially when it comes to... The, the, my failure demon always seems to dig the deepest in on me when it comes to hurting others. I don't know, maybe it's because I can't stand seeing the sight of others hurt, and when I do it, it worsens it, but... I guess it's just because I don't know how to approach it. I mean, I try with what I've got, but... If I'm thrust into a situation where I don't know what to do... Panic mode will enter and I'll do whatever my brain instincts tell me. Like, let's let's say somebody decides to vent about something and they're in a very frustrated, loud, angered mood. Immediately my brain will try to ask them to cool down a bit before venting or something like that. But the problem is that's what my brain would be telling me to do, but the stuff that would come out of my mouth... If the person is vague, will think it's contradictory, but if the person pays attention to detail, might not. But that's a 50-50 roll. <sighs> to be honest, I made this channel originally because I wanted to help others. I saw so many people on here striving to do what they can to help other individuals live streams left and right for people for circumstances like the make a wish make a wish foundation or uh, like different hospitals that are given charity and finances just to be able to study to help others who absolutely need that help After seeing stuff like that, it impacted my mind on the idea that I want to be one of those people who can help in that way, or in whatever way is reachable for me. Right now, given the predicament I'm in, <laughs> regardless of where this channel might be, for all of you, I haven't said this in a while, but for all of you who have subbed and are watching, thank you. But, I digress. These kind of things have kind of made me who I am. And with how frequently this failure demon pops in, it scares me. Makes me feel like I... It makes me doubt myself sometimes. Let's put it that way. It makes me doubt some of the aspects in my IRL life. Which, I mean, I guess this channel is kind of partially becoming that, but there still is a lot going on IRL that isn't shown on camera. A lot. And I feel like 
most of the negative that comes out of the eye roll because I don't talk about everything and some of some of it's just way too sensitive. I feel like some of the negative is just because this now this is probably that failed demon talking. I'm literally talking in a way where I can kind of present what this demon does to me. But I feel like The, the bad stuff just kind of comes from me not knowing how to respond. And I get it, maybe everybody every, everybody goes through that to a specific degree, but not not like this. And I just don't know. Sometimes I don't know what to do about it. For years I've been fighting this demon that I have back. I don't contain it because I know if I would, I would explode out of anger, and that would not be good. But there's only so much I can do. And I try to do more than I am actually capable, which has only done so much bad for me. Maybe that's why. I don't know. But this failure demon, all the mistakes I've ever made, just keeps coming back. So, and people... Everyone who ha cares about me to the degree that Amber, Aaron, my parents, all my family do, they all tell me one thing. Don't beat yourself up over, over that kind of stuff. But for me, that's way more easily said than done. And... The more bad that happens, the harder it becomes. I don't ever intend on making these bad things that I come across. I don't I don't ever intend on them happening. Sorry, my arm's being a bit cramped right now. But it happens anyway, and as I said, I just don't know how to respond to it. I'm lost. Anyway, I'm going to go too far on it. I, I could talk about this a bit more, but at this point, I feel like I'll just end up going on a loop. I'm going to leave this here. I need to get into a better mindset. Um, I just kind of wanted to... I guess you could call it a tangent event. I try to keep my events very calming. Every now and then, you'll see me get frustrated, but that's extremely rare. Consider this one of my more common events ventings, where I'm calm and uh, collected, just questionable about, in this case, my fail demons, or demon, but I might just be thinking this because I'm getting tired, I don't know, I'm going to get some rest, um, thank you guys for watching this video, for those of you who stuck around for the whole thing, uh, got any demons that you have to deal with? Well, join the club, I guess, at this point. But if you liked this video and you feel like you could relate to it or something like that, make sure to push that like button, and so far you can't see it anymore. If you really like this, consider subscribing to the channel. I don't vent about a lot of things, but I do live stuff every day, at least. Speaking of, if you want to check any of that out, click the link on the side of my head, over here. And you might be able to find one of, I think, over 200 DNR videos by now. Um, if you have an interest in that kind of co the content like this, um, if you want to find something else on this channel that you might find interest in, why not click the link on the other side of YouTube? It might give you an idea of what you might be looking for. If it just so happens to be in the same place, well, Bob's your uncle, I guess. Anyway, in the meantime, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for tuning in for this video, everyone, and I hope to see all of you in another. See you guys later.